Hi everyone, I am Tisha, lead IT for Mary Sue and at Breathe Pilates here in Singapore. Today I have Rika as my body. So we are choosing exercise, row down with back extension prep today. I'm going to show a few modifications so that you can help facilitate uh, cyclists better. So oftentimes cyclists are in this position where they are constantly in a flex hip and round spine positions. So the muscles tend to be imbalanced. This exercise is going to help restore the imbalanced muscles by lengthening the anterior chain of the body and then trying to strengthen the posterior chain. So this exercise, you begin sitting, um, facing the um, vertical frame, utilizing a roll down bar. So we got here sitting on top of her sit bones with the pelvis vertical spine neutral. She has her knees slightly bent in order for her to be able to sit upright. Okay, oftentimes if you have tight posterior chain, you might not be able to sit upright with the legs straight. So this is a great modification in the start position. So here she's going to begin to take a deep breath, inhale to the nose. As she exhales, she's going to roll her hip bones away from front of the legs. Gently use your lats to activate scapula stabili stabilizer. She's going to articulate your, her spine down, lower back down, middle back down, upper back, shoulders, neck and head. Here in neutral, ribcage closed. Inhale, she's going to bend the elbows. And she's going to gently squeeze the shoulder blades to facilitate this upper back extension. Okay, exhale, return to neutral. Straighten your arms, head nod, and sequentially articulate your spine off. Think about slide the ribs to the hips. Continue to use your lats to stabilize the scapula. Flex forward and lengthen your spine up. She's going to do one more time here. Okay, she's doing a good job. Exhale, scoop. Use your hip extensor as she roll down. Think about melting your spine down. You notice her legs becomes long. She's using her plantar flexion to point. Here, as you, bend, as you bend your elbows, imagine you break a maple pole apart, squeeze the shoulder blade slightly. So here you can see that she's slightly overextending the neck. Okay, I will correct her eye line, so not too much neck extension. You notice that she has a very good curve even extension of the spine and then she's going to straighten your arms return to neutral and roll the spine up one vertebra at a time you can bend your knees here as you come forward so you can see that this exercise is great to further lengthening the anterior chain oftentimes the clients um, it's not very aware of the body in space so when you ask them to extend the thoracic so they don't they don't know how much to extend or sometimes they will facilitate, um, initiate by using the lower back to extend the back first. So usually sometimes I will utilize an arc barrel. So I would ask my student or client to articulate the spine down, like roll down, wrapping down all the way over the arc barrel. So you can take a deep breath in and exhale, scoop your tummy. And then think about melt your spine over an arc barrel here. Very good. So over here, I, I can see that she's still overextending the neck. I'm going to next set. I'm going to uh, hit nod, hit nod, and curl off. Very good. So I'm helping here to facilitate neck flexion a little so bit. So here, because I'm going to use head pad as well as she's rowing down on the arc barrel to prevent overextending of the cervical spine. So exhale, scoop your tummy, articulate your spine down, keep your eye light, glide your gaze up. And I'm already putting the head pad here. So you can see here, it's a very nice even curve of spinal extension. So I usually ask my student or client, remember the sensation of having this arc barrel behind your back. And as she exhale, head nod and articulate your spine off. Thinking about slide the ribs to the hips as she flex forward and restack your spine up. I hope this, use, this tips is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.